Hello everyone, and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, why are these two galaxies colliding? Well, these two galaxies are the Milky Way Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy, respectively. So let's jump right in and see exactly why these two galaxies are really colliding. The expansion of the universe takes place on the largest of scales, but the Andromeda Galaxy is fairly close to us in cosmological scales. In fact, there are a group of about a dozen or so galaxies that reside within the cluster of galaxies. This is known as the local group. These are galaxies that are basically gravitationally bound, with Andromeda being the largest. The Milky Way is of course another large member, but it only comes in in second place. But these two galaxies have been circling around each other for billions of years in a sort of cosmic dance. To measure the speed of a nearby galaxy, such as Andromeda, we need to measure the speed at which its constituent stars are moving. We also need to know both the rotation of Andromeda and our relative speed from the center of the Milky Way. These all have to be taken into account to understand the motion of the galaxies. We know that Andromeda is moving towards us at around 100 kilometers per second but its motion is sort of sideways, relative to the Milky Way galaxy. So therefore, it's a lot harder to measure. This sideways motion, or tangential speed, is unlikely to be zero. If this tangential velocity is low, relative to Andromeda's motion towards us, then it should collide with the Milky Way galaxy in around five billion years. But if it's moving sideways a bit more, it will spiral around delaying the collision, and this has been clocked in at around 10 billion years. What we know for sure is that these two galaxies will collide, eventually. They are simply not moving fast enough to escape their fate. This collision though will not be a single event, and the two galaxies will pass through each other a number of times, before eventually merging into a single galaxy. Galaxies are made of stars, and also clouds of gas and dust. When two galaxies, such as Andromeda and our Milky Way galaxy collide, the effects of these two galaxies will be somewhat different. The stars within these galaxies are incredibly small compared to their separation. There can be tens of millions of stars like our sun that could fit between our sun and our closest neighbor. So when these two galaxies collide, or if any two galaxies collide in the universe, the vast majority of stars will pass by each other. Actual collisions between stars are incredibly unlikely, and the stars will probably be moving too fast to form binary systems. A few of them may get close enough and get flung out into intergalactic space, and some of them will form tidal tails, which we see in merging galaxies, such as the Antennae galaxies and the mice. The clouds of dust and gas, on the other hand, do collide, these colliding dust clouds provide ideal conditions for the formation of new stars. So while most of the original stars pass through, the new population of young bright stars are formed near the collision site. The most massive of the new stars will live very short lives of around a million years and end their lives in a dramatic supernova explosion. By the time these two galaxies collide, the sun will probably be dead along with life on the Earth, at least life that we recognize it today. Whilst the Earth itself may still be in orbit, it will be fried to a crisp by the red giant sun, and then frozen solid as the sun fades into a white dwarf. If we were able to look into the night sky from another planet though, the view would be spectacular. As well as the stars from the Milky Way galaxy, we would see many stars visible from the Andromeda galaxy as well. This would be a rich vista of newly formed young bright stars, and some of them will be shrouded in thick clouds of gas and dust. These new stars would pose the greatest threat to life on a planet. The resulting supernovae would emit copious amounts of high energy radiation. One example of this would be gamma rays. While a good defense for a planet would be an atmosphere and a magnetic field, this would not protect life, at least human life, from a supernova from just a few dozen light years away. In the center of both galaxies would lie two massive black holes, each millions of times more massive than a single star. 
When the merging is complete, these massive black holes will likely be in orbit around each other. The disks of gas and dust around these black holes will get closer and closer until they touch, setting off a new bout of star formation. Eventually, the two black holes may even merge themselves. When this takes place, it is unlikely that any humans will be living on the planet Earth. But whoever or whatever is wandering the galaxy at this present time, the view will be absolutely wonderful. The starburst galaxies will finally be in their prime, from the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way Galaxy. Or as I like to call it, the Milkdromeda Galaxy. So I hope that's given you a great insight into why are these two galaxies colliding. If you'd like to know any more about the event, or about the galaxies themselves, I'll put some links in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you'd like to support the channel, click subscribe, or support our Patreon page. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support.